Hi, I'm Crystal Stone with Nourish Medical Center. Today I'm going to share with you about the Labrix Neurotransmitter and Adrenal Lab Test. This test is wonderful in providing information about your brain chemistry and adrenal function. Imbalances in your neurotransmitters or cortisol levels may cause many unpleasant symptoms including depressed mood, anxiety, fatigue, poor sleep, irritability, forgetfulness, loss of mental focus or brain fog, ADD, addiction, excessive worry, compulsive behavior, weight gain, joint pain, cravings, low libido or sexual dysfunction. If you'd like to overcome these challenges, curious if medication is right for you, or if you're currently taking medications and wish to discontinue, consider a natural approach to repair, rebuild, and heal the imbalance. Treatment plans may consist of supplementing with specific amino acids, nutrients, and healthy lifestyle habits tailored from your results to achieve your desired goals. Now I'm going to show you how to administer the Labrix Neurotransmitter and Adrenal Test. This is a take-home test kit using your saliva and urine. Before you get started, for the most accurate results, it is very important to follow the directions. It's all on the paper that comes inside your test kit for additional reference. For 48 hours prior to and during the collection, avoid eating avocado, eggplant, tomatoes, bananas, melons, pineapple, grapefruit, plums, nuts, nut butters, wine and cheese, and chocolate. But don't worry, this is all written on your instructions. For 24 hours prior to the collection and during the collection, avoid strenuous exercise, alcohol, coffee, tea, and tobacco. It is preferable to be off medications, including those that regulate allergy, mood, sleep, pain, and inflammation. Never discontinue a prescription medication without first consulting your physician. If you must continue a medication, just indicate what you took and the dose on your rec form. Do not take any supplements on the day of testing until after the sample collection. The night before the collection, don't eat anything after your dinner. You'll be collecting your urine sample before you eat again the next morning. Menstruating women should not collect sample during their period. So here's the box. You probably got this from our office or we can ship it to you. When you open the box, you should have all of these contents. This is the rec form. Sections 1 and 2 will be filled out by us. You are to fill out section 3, 4, and 5. The payment and amount will be written on there. It is your responsibility to send a check or credit card and you'll be sending, sending this off with the lab test kit. Here are your instructions. Be sure to read over these prior to your collections. Here's the patient survey. Fill this out indicating your symptoms. Here's the shipping bag and label, a freezer bag. You can go ahead and place this in your freezer, the urine collection cup, a bag with pipette and urine um, collection tube, and a bag including four saliva sample containers. First for the urine sample, you may use the first or second void of the day. Remember not to eat anything or drink any liquids prior to the collection. Collect your urine midstream in this cup. If this cup is too small for you, you may collect in a larger cup of your own and transfer afterwards. Use this pipette to transfer the urine from the collection cup into the sample tube to the fill line. Close the tube tightly and gently rock the tube back and forth three or four seconds. This mixes the urine with the preservative. It is very important to write clearly your name, date collected, and date of birth. Then go to your rec form and also write down the collection information in section number three as well. Then put the sample in the freezer. Now for the saliva collection. You'll be collecting your saliva four times on this day. So avoid eating, brushing teeth, or applying lotions on your mouth or face one hour prior to each saliva sample. The timing of the first morning collection is critical. It must be collected 30 minutes after waking. So begin timing upon wakening, even if you remain in bed. Notice on the instructions that each collection is assigned to a container color. The pink container is for the morning collection, the green is before lunch, the yellow before dinner, and the blue before bedtime. 
You may use the straw provided to put your saliva into the container. Once you use the straw, you may throw it away. Press the lid against a hard surface to ensure a tight seal. Once you collect your saliva, write your time of collection on the bag and on the rec form. Then place the sample in the freezer immediately. After each sample is collected, place in the freezer. The samples must be frozen for at least four to six hours or overnight to be shipped the very next business day. Your results are typically back to us within two to three weeks after shipping. Please schedule with us to review these labs so you can receive a treatment plan and be on your way to a more balanced, healthy body and life. If you have any additional questions, we're here to help.